the ground, reset, arms to the sky, butterfly down, dropping down, reset, back up tall, arms to the sky, dropping down, reset, arms to the sky, dropping down, reset, arms to the sky. So we're going to go through our, our roll downs with a little bit more speed this evening. So lift you up and drop you down. We'll go for five. And four. Three. Two. Last one, come all the way down. Deep bend in the knees, sweep the arms to the sky. Big butterfly back. Drop them all the way down, deep bend in the knees. Sweep and lift those arms up and around. All the way down, deep bend in the knees. Sweep those arms up and around, that's it. All right, let's go for five. Four. Three. Two. And last ones. Beautiful arms bound by your side. Take a big step apart. Walk those legs out. Nice and wide, arms to a T, we drop down, one, two, three, back to the T. One, two, three, back to the T. Soaring up that ankle, three soars, then lift. Let's think about our back hand today. As it comes back, palm flips and faces towards the camera. And lift, drop down, one, two, three, lift. One, two, three, lift. One, two, three, lift. Three more, each side. Two. And last ones. All right. Coming back up, drop the arms back down by your side. Keep those legs out wide. Drop the hands down into the center, walking the hands to the left leg, walking the hands to the right leg. As you bring your hands to that leg, bend the knee. So top. And we're just moving side to side relatively quickly here. Side to the side, side to the side. Let's go for five. Four. Three. Two, and last ones, each side. Walk the hands all the way around to the left leg. Bend the left knee and then turn both feet to face to the left. Now keeping that back knee up off the ground, we're going to come forward and back using the toes. Forward and back using the toes. So hands are down to the ground and we're just using the back toes to move forward and back. Yeah, that's it, perfect, let's go for four. Three, two, and one. Now walk the hands back through center, around to the right. Face both feet to the right. Same thing, forward and back, using those back toes. Yeah, well that's it. Let's go for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back to center, reset the spine. Arms to the sky, butterfly the arms back down. Walk those feet back in together. Take a little, little walk, a little shake out. Okay, got an extra little warm up for us to do today. We're gonna go for our Joseph jumps. So it's been a little while since we've done these. So with our Joseph jumps, we think four, four, two, two, one, two, three, four. So we take one leg in front, one leg behind. Little bend into both knees. Hands come onto your hips. We keep that bend in the knees as we jump up and down four times. One, two, three, four. Then jump and swap. One, two, three, four. Swap, one, two. Swap, one, two. Then we swap four times. One, two, three, four. And the cycle starts again. So I'll count through the first two or three, and then I'll let you guys count in your head because we'll all end up going different speeds. All right, so when you're ready, Let's get set up. One leg in front, one leg behind, bend into both knees. 
One, two, three, four, swap. One, two, three, four, swap. One, two, swap. One, two, one, two, three, four. Start again. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, swap. One, two, swap. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, swap. One, two, three, four. So one, two, swap. One, two, swap, 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 swap. Keep going here. Don't stress if you muck up the pattern. <laughs> That's it, keep going, jump, 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 jump. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. All right, let's see if you can pick up the speed. Let's try and go faster here. All right, we've got 10 seconds, keep going. Beautiful, doing well. Five, four, three, two, and one. Walk it out. Keep the body moving. Even if you're just walking up and down your mat, just keep moving. That's it. For five, four, three, two, and one. Coming to the end of your mat, mat in front of you. Chin to chest round. Hands come to the ground. If you need to bend the knees, go for it. Let's walk those hands out. We find pike. Then we find pike. Cobra is an option there as well. Plank and pike. So either pike and plank or pike, plank, cobra. Now if you go into cobra, see if you can keep the toes tucked, thighs hovering up off the ground. Plank, pike, plank, cobra, plank, pike. Okay? Just keep going through. So pike, plank, cobra, plank, pike, plank, cobra. <laughs> Beautiful, that's it. Nice, Sarah. Nice Beautiful, that's it, Alicia. See if you can keep, see if you can keep your toes tucked and hover the thighs when you go into Cobra. It's hard. <laughs> that's it. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna do one more, and then we'll gently drop the knees, untuck the toes, and push back into child's pose. Have a stretch out, reaching those hands forward. Go five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, a uh, quick bit of happy cat, angry cat, just to break it up. So drop that tummy down, look to the sky, round spine, look to the knees. Dropping the tummy down, look up, round spine, looking to the knees. Happy cat, angry cat. That'd be nice. Beautiful, that's it. Let's go for five. <laughs> And four, three, two, and last there. ones. All right, from here, we're tucking the toes and we're going to lift up into a pipe. Now we're going to do a version of our floor tippy bird. If you haven't done it before, maybe just watch me do it the first time. So there's a couple of steps to it, but it's pretty easy. Tuck the toes, bum to the sky. We're starting with the right leg here. Lift the right leg up to the sky. So we're pike, right leg to the sky. Then we bring the right knee down in between the hands. Now from here, we're dropping the forehead down, lifting the leg up. So left leg will lift up. Then we drop the left toes, shoot the right leg back up to the sky, and we go again. So we're sticking with the same leg here. Knee comes down, forehead drops, Leg lifts. Drop the left leg, lift the right leg up to the sky, drop the knee, head drop, leg lifts. So when you go into that last part of your tippy bird, so when that knee comes down and then we're lifting the left leg up, think about that left leg becoming in line with your spine as you drop the head, the leg lifts up. As you lift the head, the leg drops, and then we lift back up into pike, lifting that right leg up to the sky. And then bringing the knee down. Rest whenever you need to, and keep going. We've got about 10 seconds to go on this side, and then we'll swap. Beautiful, nice work, that's it. That's looking really good there, Alicia. Beautiful, if you want to take it up a notch, and I'll show you this when we get, let's do the other side actually, otherwise we'll be here doing that side forever. So when you come into that drop, so we you come into pipe, 
lift the leg up to the sky, drop the knee down, keep the hands planted into the ground, drop the head, so elbows are staying up off the ground, and then touch the toes, snap, lift back up, shoot that leg back up to the sky, then drop down, so it's, it's slightly different to our other version of tippy bird we do where we drop the forearms down, not really needing to do that in this one. Beautiful, that's it. Lifting the leg up, pointing the toes. <laughs> Doing really well. All right, we've got 10 seconds to go here. Nice, Karen, that's it. And five, four, three, two, and one. Dropping back into child's pose. Bring that knee down, untuck the toes. Back into child's pose. If those wrists are a bit crampy or anything, just give them a bit of a roll out, a bit of a shake out. That's nice work. Okay, we're coming back up to standing. Tuck those toes, bum to the sky, walk the hands back to the feet, reset, arms to the sky, butterfly down. All right, so we did tippy bird on the floor. Now we're gonna do our standing tippy bird. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start with our palms facing forward, hands down by your side. Push your weight into your right leg. Now, you may like to opt to take a little bend into the right knee. I prefer to do that. See how you feel with it, okay? We're taking the left leg back. As we do, we lift the hands up. Then we stand back up tall. Same leg goes back. Tippy bird, stand tall. All right? Think about gripping your toes down into the ground here. So we're grabbing hold of the ground with our toes. Palms lift, leg comes up back behind. Now, you can always, if you're feeling a bit unbalanced here and you just need a little bit of assistance, find a wall, find a chair, and just practice first. Having that balance, that in itself is an exercise. <laughs> All right, now if you'd like to add in a knee lift here, lift the knee, take the leg back, lift the hands, come forward, lift the knee. You can also do that holding onto the wall as well. If you are holding onto the wall, see if you can hold on with just like one fingertip. Beautiful, that's it. All right, let's do two more and then we're gonna swap sides. All right, let's swap legs. Walk it out first if you need to. Okay, I always do my good leg first, so this side might not be as, as good demonstration. So palms facing forward, weight into the left leg, grip those toes into the ground. Right leg goes back, palms come forward. And then we stand back up tall. Back we go. Standing back up tall. Again, you can add your knee lift in here if you need to. If you need to, if you'd like to, adding the knee lift is gonna make it more challenging. Beautiful. Nice work. Remember, you can always have a little bend into that knee there if you need to. Going back. All right, let's do two more. Doing really, really well here. These ones are not easy. <laughs> not easy. All right, last ones. And once you've done that last one, walk it out. Give those ankles a little roll, a little shake out. Beautiful work. Okay. We're not quite done standing, so what we're gonna do is stand at the front of our mat with our mat behind us. What we're gonna do is like a ballerina squat here, okay? So I'm just gonna demonstrate this for, this way first, but just want you to make sure you've got a little bit of room behind you. All right, weight into your right leg, bring your left leg around and in front, okay? Now from here, we're going to slide, we're gonna draw a bigger circle as we can, come back behind, and then we drop into a squat and lift back up. Then we slide that leg back around in front. And again, wall is there if you need it. 
So leg in front, slide it all the way back, draw a circle. So your legs are now crossed and then we drop down. Lift up, circle the leg back in front. Okay, so your first layer to this is to keep the toes connected with the ground the whole time with that leg that's moving. The second layer to this is to lift that leg up. So have it hovering it off, off the ground, coming back. You can always touch the toes to the mat when the leg comes back, drop into your squat, then lift back up, or keep the toes up off the ground the whole time. Cool. Keep grouping those toes down into the ground of your, of your right leg. Beautiful, that's it, doing well. Nice, Karen, that's it. Nice, Alicia, nice, Sarah, beautiful work here, guys. We're gonna do about four more, and then we'll swap legs. So hands can be wherever you need them to be right now. Especially when it comes to balance, you may feel more balanced on the hips, into the chest, down by the side. Or a bit of both. <laughs> All right, last ones. And lifting back up, beautiful work. Shake it out, walk it out. All right, let's do the other leg. So pushing the weight into the left leg. Bring the right leg in front. We draw our circle back behind. Squat, lift, circle. And back. Squat. Okay, and again, you've got those layers here. So we can start to lift the toes up off the ground as we bring that leg back behind. We can touch the toes back behind here and squat or take it up to the next level where we keep that leg and those toes up off the ground the whole time. Doing really well. <laughs> Beautiful, that's it. Hands. And coming back up, shake it out, walk it out. We're going to go into our giraffe next. We haven't had dr done giraffe in so long. This used to be a staple in uh, a lot of my classes. <laughs> All right, so giraffe, we're starting standing to the front. Feet are about hip distance apart arms to the sky. We're going to walk around, keeping your heels connected with the mat, turning all the way back behind. Now our legs are now crossed. We're going to drop our hands down to the ground, lift back up, we're gonna come back the same way. So back around the same way, try and keep your heels connected and then we go back the other way. Drop the hands down, lift up. It's gonna feel weird when you first start doing this, okay? So if you find that your mat is clumping up, just kick it out of the way and come off, off the mat for it. So legs are crossed when you're facing the wall behind you. Drop the hands down, lift the hands back up, back to front. And then we, so we come back that same way, twist to the other side, drop down, Lift up. Now, we've got other layers to go through here to make this a bit more challenging and really get into that balance aspect. So try doing this on your tippy toes. So this time we keep the toes connected with the ground. Twist, twist, twist. All right, we're facing the wall behind. If you need to drop your heels here, drop them down, then drop the hands. Lift the hands, lift back up onto the tippy toes. Come back. Back the other way. Try staying up on the tippy toes the whole time. Dropping the hands down to the ground, lifting back up, back around at the end of your mat. Nice, right? All right, let's get back down on the ground. We've got some fun balance ones we want to do down here, including our bird dog. So we're going to drop those hands down to the ground. Walking out, gently bring the knees down, untuck the toes. Okay, so bird dog, what we usually do is alternating arm and leg. All right, now that is absolutely there as an option for you if you feel like that's what you want to stick with today, which is absolutely fine. 
If you want to move more into the realm of balance, what we're going to do is start on our hands and knees, push our weight over to our right side. So into the right knee, into the right hand. Lift the left leg up and then lift the left arm up. Okay, so we're on the same side here. All right, takes a little bit sometimes. That's okay. So what we're gonna do here is lift up, then keeping our elbow and knee locked out, drop the fingertips and the toes down to the mat and lift them back up. Drop them down, lift them back up. Now, you may find you wanna reposition the right hand. Go for it if you find that that's necessary. So weight into the right side, right knee, right hand, left leg long, left hand long. Lock the elbow, lock the knee. Drop the fingertips, drop the toes, lift back up. Drop the fingertips, drop the toes, lift back up. See if you can drop them right down to the mat. That's when it becomes more challenging. All right, we've got three, two, last ones, and dropping down. If you need to take a quick child's pose, go for it. All right, then we'll set up to do the other side. So same thing here, we just push our weight into our left knee, left hand, right leg long, find your balance, then bring the right arm up. From here, lock the elbow, lock the knee, drop them down, lift them up, drop them down, lift them up. And then we start to try and square ourselves off here, facing the torso in line with the mat. Just a really good roll, good shake out, because we are going to come back into using them again, just for our next balance exercise. So very, very similar to what we did. We're going to push our weight into our left side, right leg long, right hand now lifts up to the sky and we turn our torso to face the side. All right, from here, hand comes back down, we drop the forehead down, elbows down, leg lifts. So we're doing our tibby bird. Then we lift back up, arm lifts up to the sky. So we're going to keep that leg long the whole time. Drop down, forearms down, head down, leg lift. So our leg is staying in line with our spine. Arm to the sky, arm down, forearms drop. Nice, Alicia, yes, that's it, beautiful. Nice, Sarah. Nice, Karen, that's it. Let's keep going here, we've got the four, four to go. Beautiful, that's it. Thinking about that leg staying in line with your spine. Three. And two. Last ones. And once you've done your last one, gently drop those knees down, untuck the toes, push into child's pose, quick roll or shake out of those wrists. And then we'll get set up to do the other side. All right, so weight goes into the right side. Left leg long, left hand lifts up to the sky. We open up through the chest. We try and get our balance. <laughs> and then we drop the hand down. Forearms drop, head drops, leg lifts. Push back up through the hands, arm out to the sky. And drop in. Okay, keeping that leg in line with the spine. Beautiful work, doing really well. Four to go. And three. And two. Last ones. Then gently drop the knees down, untuck those toes, push back into your child's pose, reaching those hands forward, roll, shake out the wrists, whatever feels good. If you need to have a drink here, please do. We are going to be moving uh, into a bit of side work. So we might all start the same side. So we're gonna start laying down on our right side. So if you need to kind of turn yourself around, go for it. So coming down onto your right side, and we're going to take 
our right arm onto the ground, dropping our head down on, resting onto our arm. All right, taking both legs long, lifting the top leg up. So just above hip distance, roughly, give or take, okay? Bottom leg then lifts up. So we're gonna keep our feet apart, but they're both up off the ground. Now top hand here just can be in front of support initially. One leg forward, one leg back. 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 So both legs are hovering up off the ground. Now once you're feeling like you're like, yeah, okay, I've got that movement with my legs happening, bring your top arm and place it up behind your head. Okay, so that's, we're now really, really working. Balancing onto the side. If you need to keep the hand down, keep the hand down. Even if you're just using one finger to kind of help balance yourself. One leg forward, one leg back. This is gonna to start to really get into this side here. Try and bring those legs as far apart as you can. Beautiful, doing really well. Keep the knees locked out. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, keep going, four, three, two, and last ones. And dropping the legs down, give the side a little massage out. That's all right. <laughs> all right. Whew. I felt that one. We're going to take both legs long again. Now just keep them down on the ground for the moment. Bringing the top arm up and overhead. We're going to keep our elbow and knee locked down and then try and touch the toes with your hand or as close as you can. I can't, I can't quite touch them. Just in that, that general direction. Beautiful, that's it. Now, if you feel like you're just gonna roll over onto the side, take a little bend into the bottom leg, but if you can keep it straight, try and keep it straight, or as straight as you possibly can, even if you've just got like a, a small bend. Six. down massage out that side okay before we move to the other side what we're going to do is sit up but we're kind of staying to the right so we're walking those hands up just taking a bit of a bend into the knees so i'm going to give you a couple of different options for this one have a play around with it see what's going to challenge you the most you can always go back through the steps as we go along if you need to or obviously go up the layers as well now with this one we can be on our wrist or on our forearm Okay, both, both are good. I'm gonna stay up on my wrist initially. So, knees stacked on top of each other. This is your first leg up. Up and over, and then lightly touch the bum to the ground. Lift back up and over. Okay, second layer to this is we just take the top leg long. Lift up, up and over, lightly touch the bum, up and over. Okay, third option. Bring your bottom leg out in front, and I like to keep my legs quite separated here. Lifting up, lightly touch the bum to the ground, back up and over. All right, so lots of different layers to choose from there. Rest when you need to, and then come back up and keep going. Forearm is always there if you find it's too much on the wrist. We've got 15 seconds to go. Try and lightly touch the bum, shoot back up. We've got five, four, three, two, and one coming back down. Beautiful work. Turn yourself around. Let's do the other side. So dropping all the way down onto the mat, take the bottom arm long, rest the head down onto the arm. All right, top leg lifts up just above hip height, lift the bottom leg up. Kick forward, back. 
forward, back, forward and back with those legs. Keep both legs hovering up off the ground. Now top hand here can be in front to support for as long as you need it to be. Then see if you can bring that hand up behind your head. Try and bring those legs as far apart as you can. Keeping the knees locked out. Fifteen seconds to go. Doing really well. Keep it up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Dropping down. Massage out that side. <laughs> All right. What if we go into next? Oh, okay. Arms and legs long, so arms up and overhead. Legs long. Lift, back down. Try and reach those fingertips towards the toes. Or to the ankle, or to the calf, or to the thigh. Wherever you're getting the fingertips to is fine. <laughs> Just lift them up, try and keep the knee and elbow locked out. Doing really well, keep it up. Fifteen seconds. And ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Dropping down. All right, we're going to lift ourselves up into that side seated position and try and do the same thing that you did on the other side. So again, I'll go through the layers, um, but just try and, we, we want to try and keep it even side to side, obviously. So we can have the knees stacked, up and over, lightly touch the bottom to the ground. We can have the top leg long, up and over, dropping back down, up and over, dropping back down, lightly touching our thumb to the ground, Last layer, bottom leg out in front, top leg back behind, up and over, lightly touch the bottom down, up and over, lightly touch, up and over. All right, forearms there if you need it as well. Beautiful, doing really well. Lightly touch the bum, shoot straight back up. 15 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, three, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work. All right. We're coming into a seated position. We want some room behind us. Quick drink if you need to, of course. We can't, we can't uh, go past some teaser work because teaser is all balance. A um, lot of core, a lot of hip flexors, but balance is uh, a pretty important factor into this one. So we're going to glue the legs together. I'm going to show you half teaser and full teasers today so you can choose where you want to be. Um, make sure you've got a bit of room behind you in preparation, okay? So we're not going to use it just yet, but we will shortly. So our arms come out in front. We're rounding the spine slightly, lift, like, sorry, going back. Then lifting the legs. This is your half teaser, keeping your knees bent. Then drop back down, sit back up. Okay, half teaser, keeping the knees bent. Full teaser, legs long, arms then come up in line with the legs. So we want them parallel with each other. Drop back down, sit back up. Lift, drop back down, sit back up. Beautiful, that's it. Oh, okay, Alicia, I'll just show, I'll just show you again. So just come back up. So keep your feet planted into the mat just for the moment. Arms come out in front. All right, we're leaning back slightly. We're not going to drop our back all the way down onto the mat though. So we're just coming back. We're rounding the spine, stopping about here. Then lift both legs up, keeping them glued together. That's your half teaser. Yes, yes, perfect. Then back up tall. Sitting back up. Drop the feet back down to the ground. Yep, so drop the feet back to the ground, sit back up. And then we do the same thing again. So we round the back. Lift the legs, hover onto the sit bones, sit back up, drop the feet back down. Yes, perfect, that's it. 
and then to try that full teaser, you're going to do the same thing. You round lean back, lift the legs into that half, bent knees, and then just see if you can straighten the legs from there. So bent knees, straight legs, and then sit back up. Yes, yes, you got it. Beautiful. That's it. Yes, perfect. Now there's one more little step to it, and it's just bringing the arms in line with the legs. It's like the, it's the smallest little part to it. We round them back, lift the legs up, and then bring the arms up so that they're parallel with the legs. Then drop back down, sit back up. And you've done the full teaser. up. There you go. Beautiful. All right. We're going to go for five. And four. Nice, Sarah. Beautiful. That's it. Three. Nice, Karen. Two. And one, all right, we're finding half or full teasers here. Make sure you've got room behind you. Find your teaser, back we go, try and keep that shape the whole time. Hover back up onto the sit bones, we're not dropping the feet to the ground this time. We're rolling back and then lifting back up onto the sit bones. Rolling back, try and touch the back of your head onto the mat. Lift back up onto the sit bones. You can do this with bent knees or straight legs. Have a play around with them. See what works for you this evening. Beautiful, that's it. So what I recommend with this one is lifting into your teaser first. So just that, like that setup we did before, we rounding back, lift into that teaser. Then roll back, use that momentum to lift yourself back up. See if you can hover onto the sit bones. Rolling back, lifting back up onto the sit bones. Doing really well. I know the core is like very fatigued right now. Uh, but we're getting a nice spine massage while we're doing this one, right? Beautiful. Nice, Sarah. That was really good. See if you can balance over on those shoulder blades while you're there. Yes, that's it. All right, good three. And two. And last ones. And dropping all the way back down onto the mat, pull those knees in, have a little rock side to side. While we're here, we're going to go into our figure four glute stretch. So planting the feet into the mat, right leg over the left knee. We either push our right knee away or pull our left knee back towards our face. Whatever feels best for you, wherever you're getting the best stretch, you can always go to those little rocks. Side to side, just massaging out through the back. That was done really well tonight. This was, I know it's big burn, but that was not an easy class whatsoever. I always find um, the balance classes pretty hard. Uh, even when I'm doing them, I'm finding them really difficult. And swapping sides. Other side, swap those legs around. And go for those little rocks side to side there if you like. And ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Feet plant into the mat. We're just going to rock those knees from side to side. Walk the feet just out a little bit wider so you can really drop those knees down towards the mat and look over the opposite shoulder. Arms can just hang out out of the way here. Just rocking those knees side to side. Go four. Three, each side, two, and last one's each side. We're now going to lift up onto us and to our bum. So grab one or both knees and just lift yourself up. Coming into a zigzag sit, right leg in front, left leg down by your side. We're just going to give these sides a really decent stretch out. So when you're ready, zigzag sit, right leg in front, left leg down by your side, arms to a T, right forearm comes down and we're going to hold here. So right forearm down, we rainbow that left arm up and over, 
and we're holding into our side stretch. So reaching up and over. Beautiful, that's it. Let's go to the other side, up and over. So just into that mermaid sit. Beautiful work, that's it. All right, let's swap those legs around. Left leg in front, right leg down by your side. Roll, left forearm down this time. Rainbow the right arm. Stretching out through the side. Beautiful, that's it. Keep holding here. Three, two, and one. Other side, rainbow over. Stretching out through the side. All right, bringing both hands to one side. Easier if they come to the left, because then you can just flip over onto your hands and knees quite easily. And then push into child's pose. We're going to come into our cobra. We're going to do a cold into cobra just to stretch out the, the abdominals. So coming forward, drop the waistband down towards the hands, looking up to the sky, into cobra. Just sinking those hips down, looking up, holding here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Working your way back into child's pose. From here, tuck those toes, lift the bum to the sky, we're into pipe. Walk those hands back to the feet, coming all the way back, slowly restacking the spine, and we're going to finish off with a balance challenge tonight. Dropping the arms back down by your side. Okay, so balance challenge. What we're gonna do is balance into the right leg. So weight into the right leg, we're lifting the left leg up. We're gonna be closing our eyes for 15 seconds and just trying to balance here, okay? If you need a wall, grab a wall, but if not, hands wherever you need them to be. Let's go three, two, one, 15 seconds. Closing those eyes. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's swap sides. Lost my balance at the end there. All right, wait into the left leg. Lift the right leg up. Closing your eyes in three, two, one. Let's go. Fifteen seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work. If you'd like to finish off with a couple of swings, can't forget those. Lift those arms up to the sky, deep bend in the knees, so wing those arms and lift back up. Three, and two, and last one. Deep bend in the knees, dropping down, lifting back up. Three big butterflies in each direction. And we are all done. So we're around about a minute over there. Whew. 